Hi everyone, welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel where we cover the news, facts, and sentiments about the crypto market. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, a ex-Ripple employee who's still very closely connected to Ripple has confirmed the use case of XRP for CBDCs, also known as central bank digital currencies. We know a lot of banks around the globe, central banks, are scrambling to get their digital version of their fiat currencies because they don't want to get disrupted by cryptocurrencies. And Facebook's Libra really lit a fire under all their butts to get it done, right? Well, Dilip Roa, uh, who, once again, worked at Ripple, still connected to the company, still bullish on XRP and Ripple, said the following. Regional interoperability of payments in APAC, talking about Asia Pacific, needs a cross-border real-time liquidity solution. CBDCs will suffer the same faith as fiat currencies, so only a neutral bridge like XRP on a licensed slash compliant network uh, of FIs makes sense. So FI standing for financial institutions. So he's saying and confirming what we've all been talking about. I've been, I did a lot of videos on this CBDCs and how XRP is going to be used. Right now, XRP is a bridge asset between all these global currencies because you need interoperability. How do they exchange and communicate better, right? How do you move money faster between all these cryptocurrencies? Uh, excuse me, all these fiat currencies. That is the solution Ripple is providing. Moving money faster at a speed of data, cheaper, more secure, and of course, interoperability. And he's confirming the use case here, guys. And like I said, I've been covering it on this channel, many others as well. And central banks are all trying to get this done, but it still brings the same problems that fiat currencies have to a digital version. How does the digital wand, US dollar, and all these things communicate? Now, he said this in response to Ripple's article today about the Asia Pacific market and how to tap into remittance there. And of course, they talk about, you know, the, the amount of volume that they see there in those markets, such as with Thailand and the Philippines and so forth. And remember, they're targeting multiple corridors. Right now, we see the heavy volume between the US and Mexico uh, with MoneyGram and Bitso. So they're going to be building corridors around the globe because you have crypto you know, you have currencies, different currencies around the globe, guys, and you need the bridge asset. And of course, they highlight uh, Ripple's ODL, and it says here, ODL uses the digital asset XRP as a real-time liquidity bridge between the sending and receiving of currency. So the biggest utility out, th out there, guys, the biggest use case, and this is why I'm bullish on XRP. I hold Bitcoin, I hold Ethereum and others, VeChain, but I believe XRP has the biggest utility because it's solving one of the largest problems out there, moving monies across the globe, guys. And this is super exciting. Now, he, we even saw, and I shared this on this channel, the World Economic Forum, where Trump, where Mnuchin, where all the world leaders were at, the IMF and so forth, saying that in their central bank digital currency policy maker toolkit in dated January 2020, once again, we covered it on this channel, if you recall, most relevant for wholesale CBDC, XRP, listed as one of the options. So these are the facts. I didn't make this up. You are hearing it directly from the horse's mouth. These, these are not random Joe Schmoes. These are people with professional careers. You can look them up on LinkedIn. It's not some random Twitter profile that's a dog or a cat, right, saying something. Because <laughs> sometimes we can take, you know, verb, verbatim Twitter tw tweets and things that from random profiles, and they're not even related to people in the real world or business or whatever it is, right? There's no credibility behind it. But these people are credible. I will take the World Economic Forum over some random crypto dude, right? Or, or some random person on Twitter. And this is why I share the facts, not so much my opinion. I sure I give my opinion, but it's based on the facts right in front of our face. And um, you guys know Mac Michael Arrington, right? He's the founder of TechCrunch, big Silicon Valley guy. Existed before he made his money and everything before crypto. We know he started a, a hedge fund called Arrington XRP Capital. It is denominated in XRP. Well, someone asked him today, uh, Rose is on the mood here. Hey, Arrington, are you still bullish on XRP? Extremely. And once again, credibility, right? Who this guy is, founder of TechCrunch, big in the Silicon Valley world, started a lot of different companies. So uh, we are seeing actual business people, professionals, people who've been in other markets, 
bullish on XRP. So just keep that in mind. And uh, I'm about real world adoption, logic, facts. Does this make sense in the real world? Is it solving a real world problem? And XRP is doing that. And Ripple is making um, some big moves to do that, guys. So um, something else. Uh, Brad Garlinghouse apparently was just finished his CNN interview with uh, Julia Chatterley, and it's going to air on Monday the 17th, so this coming Monday. So very interesting. Uh, let's see what he has to say. I'm sure it's talk around the IPO and what else Ripple is doing with XRP. Um, also, some quick news here. Bangladesh Bank with $4 billion in assets now employs RippleNet. So uh, not too many details as far as what they're going to be using, but Ripple's network continues to grow. And the more banks are in that network, the more opportunity for XRP to be used. Now, I don't believe every bank in their network is going to use XRP. That is the logical thing, right? Not everyone is going to be sending money here and there, whatever, but a majority will. And even if they're doing some of them are majority national movement of money there's going to be some level of international movement where they may use xrp ripples odl at a low volume but there's some they're going to use it in high volume it just just depends what they do as a bank and what which markets and which corridors they service so i hope that that makes sense but exciting to see all these banks coming on board and um we will see more and more of this guys and more folks going live now finally uh blockfi raises 30 million dollars as it looks to become more than just a lender so blockfi if you recall i interviewed a uh, co-founder flory marquez um last year and essentially you can earn interest um and get crypto loans and all that stuff um by just simply depositing your loan your crypto into their setup and earn interest make money off of it so if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out but it this speaks to what's going to be coming for the crypto market lend it's going to be like the other asset classes guys so many financial instruments right lending borrowing this and that earn this uh so i'm excited about it and we see more and more money being put into cryptocurrencies and digital assets and the companies building around them so the fact that these companies are raising millions of dollars it reminds me of the dot-com boom in the 90s this crypto asset class is here to stay blockchain is the new tech revolution so guys the future of this market is very bright i hope you see it and uh all the money right forget about what people are saying but what are they doing they're putting money in and in and yesterday we covered the crypto regulations that are going to be coming and i believe that will open the floodgates even more so guys what do you think about this news i i thought this was very bullish here and a confirmation of what xrp's use cases and the massive utility it's going to gain especially with now cbdc's because right now xrp uh obviously is great for the bridge asset uh, with the current fiat currencies but it will even be easier when they're in a digital format of cbdc's if that makes sense because everything will be tokenized it's going to be much more seamless so guys what do you think leave your thoughts and comments below thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe if you haven't already i'll talk to you guys later